Hello great people and welcome to a new video on the Hackerish YouTube channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to install Burp Suite and configure it to work with your web browser. So we are slowly but surely building our OS Top 10 training lab, so let's get started. Welcome back. As you can see, I am on the official Portswigger download page. I'm going to download the community edition. Now, Burp Suite comes with three versions. The free version, which is called the community edition, is free of use and Burp Pro, which includes the possibility to search in the history and perform scans using the scanner module. And we have Burp Suite Enterprise, which is meant for enterprise scale environments. It allows companies to perform a lot of scans against their assets. And most of these tests are automated. For the purpose of this training, we're just going to use the Burp Community Edition. So here we are greeted with a button to download Burp Suite. Let's do it. Now, there is also a plain jar file which can be used to uh, install Burp cross-platform. So in this case, you'd have to install Java and then use java-jar and then the file. I'm going to use the package for Mac OS. If you're using Windows, it should say here download for Windows and the same thing for Linux. So let's install it. Okay, now we can open it. We're just hitting the next buttons. And then finish. And we can open it here. So this is the first page that you have when you open Burp Suite Community Edition. And uh, this is uh, the first limitations that you have. Uh, you can't create persistent projects with Burp Community Edition. So we are going to choose the only option that we have, which is temporary project, and then hit next. Now, here you can use the Burp defaults or load uh, configuration from a file that you've already saved. But since this is our first interaction with the burp suite we're just going to start burp okay so we land on the main user interface um, we're going to revisit this user interface but for now we're going to configure it so that we can capture http traffic so the first thing to verify is to go to the proxy tab and then options and verify that you have this checked uh, which means that your proxy is up and running. If you select this entry and hit edit, you can specify the bind address, which should be in this case loopback only because we are just working in localhost. And uh, for the port, make sure that it's set to a different port than both webcoat, which is the application we are going to exploit in the future. And the previous port that you set for that proxy, which was in our case 8088. So I'm going to do like 8087 and hit OK. And verify that you have the proxy running. OK. Now we can go to our web browser to download the Burp Suite certificate so that we can include it in our web browser. That way we can capture HTTP traffic going through Burp Suite to any other website. To do that, you need to go to http colon slash slash burp. But before that, we need to set our web browser to talk to Burp Suite. And this is done via the proxy settings. The proxy settings can be found in the references. So here, 
you have the ability to set a manual proxy configuration. But for now, we're going to use an add-on, which is called Foxy Proxy, and we talked about it in our previous video when we installed Zap Proxy. That's more convenient for us in our further testing. It actually allows you to create multiple web proxies and choose whatever you need without having to go and change the settings manually from your web browser settings. So we're going to look for Foxy Proxy. Foxy Proxy is available also on uh, Chrome. Uh, this button allows you to download the extension and hit add and then you have a new icon, a Fox icon here, which means that your add-on has been successfully installed. So now that we have our Foxy Proxy extension, we can configure it. So let's go to options and then create a new proxy. We're going to call it Burp Suite. Maybe change the color to the main color interface for Burp. It's going to be an HTTP proxy type. And here we're going to use localhost. And for the port, we're going to use whatever port we have our Burp suite listening on, which was in this case 8087. I hit save. And now we can just go here and set the web proxy to Burp suite and hit HTTP colon slash slash burp. Okay, so we land on the page where we can download our CA certificate. So just go to this button here and click CA certificate and save it. Okay, now we can just go to the preferences as we did before, but this time we're going to change the certificate options. View certificates. Now we can just go ahead and import our previously downloaded certificate file. Make sure to check the two boxes so that you can trust this certificate authority. So now everything should be set up for us so that we can capture HTTP traffic. So let's test that. All right, so you see it's hanging a bit, which is quite normal because if you go to the settings of the proxy here, you see that it's enlightened. This color has changed to orange, which means that there is something new on this tab and specifically in the intercept tab. Now, if you go to the intercept tab, you see that you have your first HTTP request captured, which is going to detect portal.firefox.com. What you can do to capture passively all the HTTP requests is to disable this button, which says intercept is on. And now if we go to the page, we see that it's loading. But we don't see any HTTP requests. That's normal because there's another tab for that under the proxy, which is HTTP history. And here you can see all the HTTP requests that we got from the web browser. And a bunch of them point to our thehackerish.com site. This means that we have successfully set up Burp Suite to work with our proxy. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you know when a new video is up. And feel free to leave any comments for any questions or any new ideas that you found interesting while setting up your verb suite. Until then, stay curious, learn new things and go find some love.